This movie is on AirMap. You, of course, have to install this app here on your iPhone or iPad, and then you pick it, and of course, it's free, but you have to create your own password and username. So we're going to go to login here, and I'm going to continue. And right now, we're just going to use my email and then put in my password. Once that is done, you pick sign in and you are now signed in. We want to do what? We want to put in an address and do a flight. So we pick the search button and we're going to backspace this out and type in 15 Terry Street and that's in Staunton, Virginia. Do search. Sorry. It zooms right up on it. Now you can see that if I zoom out that there's an airport in close proximity. And it's a little bit of a, in purple right there, but the runway only goes to here. There's a mountain in the back, back up here, I think, right there. So everybody that's coming in to uh, land or take off is going to be going in the southwest direction. Well, it just so happens our flight that we want to fly at this office here is uh, in that restricted air zone. So right now, to create a flight area that we want to ask permission for, we're going to just tap it and leave our finger down, and it creates this. Now, there's a radius button here, and you can make the radius button bigger if you want, or you can make it very small, 100 feet. But uh, we're actually going to draw a um, – you see this right here? We're going to pick that, and this is not mission planning, but we're going to create a area where – we plan to create a mission planned flight. So we pick this and notice it says draw a flight area and then you just essentially leave your finger down and just trace along the area that you want to fly and it creates a bunch of points there. Now if you think you have too many points you can put them in the trash can right there and uh, here let me uh, put this one Oop. Put that one in the trash pan. Now we just have four points. I'm just going to fly this location there. And that is our flight zone. So it looks fairly good to me. And now what we want to do is pick the next button. And it comes up and says, what altitude do you want to fly at? 200 feet. Uh, we want to fly over a three-period time. We don't know exactly when. We're going to fly tomorrow. That's uh, at Friday, August 20th. And we're going to fly from noon to possibly 3 o'clock. So there we have it. And the flight, uh, the, the pilot will be myself, James Carlson. And the drone will be our Phantom 4. And you put in the other information here. It's less than five pounds. Is the flight occurring within visual line of sight? Yes. Does the flight occur over people? No. And at this point, we just pick next done. And there you go. It shows you that you have the weather looks good. And you have a green here. So it says authorization pending submission. And so you come down here and pick Submit Flight. Your flight has been submitted, and you get texted almost immediately saying automated flight is accepted. If you want to take a look at that, just come over here to your, and you can see that 
We have a number there, ARMQL914ER70. That's all. It shows that you are accepted. And when prompted, if you have mission planning software that prompts you to put in your authorization number, that is the number that you need to type or copy and paste in um, so that it will release the drone to fly. And at that point, you are ready to uh, go. Now, at this point, I'm not obviously going to fly at that location. So I'm going to come up here, pick right here. I'm going to pick flights. And just wait for it. It takes a little while to load, but it will load the flight. And then you just slide it to the right and say, yes, are you sure you want to delete this flight? And I am deleting that flight, and it's gone. And it tells you with another text message that you have deleted that flight. And that is how you can create a flight and or delete uh, doing a flight. You'll pick exit, pick the little man up here and we'll come down to log out and we are officially logged out and there you go we're done and that is all done using the air map icon on the iphone or the ipad you can do it on a droid device but in my case i own an ipad and an iphone and that's how you can request from air map authorization, and also to remove it if you plan not to fly. Thank you. And this was a movie by Carlson Software for any of our Carlson Software, Carlson Photo Capture, that is, users. Thank you.